In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Apple Watch Series 9 and pair it with your iPhone. So the first step is you need to turn on your watch. So on the side here, you're going to locate the side button. It looks like this. We're going to press and hold this until the Apple logo appears on the display. So we're going to press and hold. I'm still holding. And now I can let go. So this is going to go through a little startup process on the watch itself. And in the meantime, I want you to check two things on your phone. So we're going to pull down from the top right here. And you want to make sure that this Bluetooth has a blue background. Now, if it is white, you're going to want to tap on it so it's blue. So then we can swipe up. The other thing is you need to have iOS 17 installed. So you're going to find your settings app and tap on it. Then you're going to find general and tap on that then software update and tap on that. And here you can see I have iOS 17 installed. It's showing there's another version uh, available, but I only need to have 17.0 at a minimum. So if you have 16 or earlier, you should see this little 17 icon and you'll need to update your phone to iOS 17 before you compare your series nine. So if that all looks good, or once you've done that, you can swipe back up here and this on the Apple Watch screen is telling us to bring the iPhone near the Apple Watch. Now, sometimes a little pop-up appears here and you can just tap whatever the uh, wording here, start pairing or something like that. But in this case, it didn't pop up. So if that happens, you'll need to find your watch app. So on my phone, it looks like this. It should look like that on yours as well. If you don't know where it is, you can swipe from right to left until you see this little section. And then you can tap here to search. And then we can tap type, rather, watch. And then now this should appear. So we'll go ahead and tap on this. And now we can tap start pairing. So a quick tip, if you have a, another Apple Watch already set up on your phone, you can just open the Apple Watch app. And then up here, tap on all watches and then tap add watch. Then you can go through the same process. So it says set up Apple Watch and I'm gonna set this up for myself. So I'm gonna tap that. And now it says hold Apple Watch up to the camera. So I'm gonna to try to show this. We're gonna put this little section in this yellow rectangle. So I'm gonna line those up like this and then hold it steady. Okay. And this is what will happen if you're trying to uh, pair your Apple Watch with a non-iOS 17 updated phone. It'll say your iPhone is out of date and this Apple Watch requires a newer version of iOS. So now it says I can either restore from a backup or set up as a new Apple Watch. So I'll go ahead and set up as a new Apple Watch. And now you can select your wrist preference if you're gonna wear it on your left or right wrist and then tap continue. And here it has a little progress icon here letting us know something's going on in the background. And now it says connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. All right, now we have some terms and conditions. You will need to agree to these to use your watch. So if you want to read more, you can scroll or tap here. But once you're ready to agree, go ahead and tap agree. And again, we have a little icon here. So it's signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. All right, Apple Watch passcode. So if you have this enabled, you have to type in a little passcode every time you um, want to put on your Apple Watch. So if you're using Apple Pay, you want to have this on, but it will prompt you to set this up once you set up Apple Pay. But for now, I'm gonna say don't add passcode. And it's saying a passcode is highly recommended. Um, so you can cancel and go back to create this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say don't use passcode. And here we can change our text and size. So if you tap here, it'll bold the text on your watch. You can also change the text size. You can have it very small or you're gonna have it a lot bigger. I'll go ahead and keep it at the default. And then I'll go ahead and tap continue. You can also change these settings later in the app. And there are some shared settings with iPhones. We'll just tap okay. You can personalize your fitness and health, so these may already be filled out for you. 
If, they're, if they are and they look good, you can go ahead and tap continue. If they're not, you can go ahead and tap here and make your selections and then tap done. For now, I'm gonna leave these um, not set, but your fitness data will be more accurate if you do set these. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap continue. And you can also get notifications about your health. So we have a noise notification that you can disable if you prefer, or you can keep it enabled. I'll leave it enabled and tap continue. And it's just telling you that your Apple Watch can help you in emergency. It does have an emergency SOS feature, crash detection, and backtrack. So I'll go ahead and tap continue here. And it says the Apple Watch is syncing. Your Apple Watch is almost ready. And we should get an alert when it's done. So you use your iPhone as you normally would. And while we're waiting, you can learn more about your Apple Watch by tapping here. All right, it's saying an Apple Watch has been added to my account. So I'll go ahead and tap OK. All right, so there's just a little chime on the watch. And it has a little hello animation here now. And it says, welcome to Apple Watch. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this little hello. So I'm going to say start. It says, learn how to navigate Apple Watch. So this year with Watch OS 10, the gestures have changed a bit. So it's going to go through a little onboarding here to show us that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, actually. I'm going to take the phone out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to zoom in here. And it says, press the digital crown to see your apps. So this is a digital crown. We're going to press it. And there's our list of apps. Well, rather the grid view of apps. You can press the digital crown to return to your watch face. And press the side button to open control center. So I'll press the side button. And that's the control center. You can press side button to close control center. And you can turn the digital crown to see your widgets. So if you turn this up, this is the smart stack or widgets. So welcome to Apple Watch. And so here's our widget screen. This is our main clock face. And I'll go ahead and go back to the phone here for a moment. And it says, welcome to Apple Watch. I'll go ahead and tap OK. And now you can see the um, Apple Watch here. You can tap here to add faces, watch faces. You can also tap here to edit your watch faces on your phone, which is a lot easier than doing it on your app. And otherwise, I'm going to leave this video here. I'll give you some more tips and other videos for what to do after you've set this up and how to use your Apple Watch. So if you want to see those videos, consider subscribing. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below? And thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.